Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen. What is going on? It's good old Peter here again. Here we go. Good old Pete. Pete from uh, South Jersey. Good old Peter Peter from Southern New Jersey. Good old Southern New Jersey. Um, guys, I got another piece today to show you that I do believe, I do believe that this one just might blow the panties off you. I do believe, because I know a lot of you don't get your panties blown off, but I do believe that this one just may do it. I gotta take a deep breath in. I gotta I, I got I think I gotta do a yoga class before I do these videos because I get so excited and my excitement gets so I can't explain the feeling I get inside, you know what I mean? And um it's it's just I just get too excited over 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 the cutlery, and um, well, it's not always a good thing, you know, because you, you you can't be getting out what you want to say, huffing and puffing and breathing all heavy and dancing all around and acting all crazy. You got to keep your composure. You got to go into it like a professional. And you gotta you gotta do what you gotta do with that piece and that knife. You know what I mean? You can't just <laughs> flipping and flapping your gums all over the place. You know what I mean? Flipper flapper. You might as well call me flipper flapper. But anyway, I do believe that this one is gonna do it. This is another Shat and Morgan, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. Okay, this is off of their file and wire line, okay? And it's my first piece in worm groove uh, bone. And, guys, I really don't know what to say. I mean, even feeling it is just... It is just, it's just on a whole nother level. It, it is a fantastic piece of cutlery. Guys, I know if you don't, well, I guess there's about 85% of you that, uh, that won't believe me or just think I'm blowing smoke because they're, like I said, it's a, it's a ratio is a good eight, probably 85, 80 to 85% on people that collect modern folders and then you got like 20 or 30 percent more like 30 percent that are into the traditional game and shoot fit and, and you know there's a just a very very few people of us out there that get on you know get their groove on with these guys here and when i tell you guys i'm i'm not this this is just one of the pieces that, again, you know, you always hear me saying, I always say it, and you know I'm going to say it again. This is another piece that, that you are definitely going to want to hand down. I'm, there's no other way of saying it. This is, this is stuff that you give to loved ones. What more do you want me to say? Um, <clears throat> this happens to be a jackknife. I always wanted a jackknife. I don't have a jackknife in the collection. And I just like the way it comes down at the end here. I like the swell at the end. It is just, it is a great, great piece of cutlery to tuck away. And to break out every once in a while and wipe down and clean. <sighs> well, hell, even carry. Carry the sucker. Put it in a sheath and carry it. Carry it if you if you so much choose to do, do so. There's nothing wrong with that.
Guys, I have just been taken over uh, the past few months, but well, past more than a few months, by the Shat Morgan bug. And um, I've never bought Shat and Morgans before, guys. The reason for that was I was always chasing. I always thought that the next best thing was GEC knives. And I wanted to get those GEC knives so bad. Well, I couldn't concentrate on anything else. I couldn't. I was saying to myself, I got to have them GEC knives for the collection. Golly gee darn it. I got to have them. And I'm very, very proud of the collection that I've accumulated of them. But I think it's time now to move a little forward and to move on. I'm a little tired of them. I'm, I'm, I'm tired of chasing and playing the game with them. And I have been filling my, I have been getting my fix more than I thought, more than I thought with these guys right here, these Shat Morgans. Because they are above average cutlery. This is the next best thing be, uh, alongside of GEC. Uh, these are it right here. I mean, I'm just saying. These are your next best thing. If you can't get the GEC knives and you're really jonesing that bad... Well, you pick one of these up and you no longer will be jonesing. I'm telling you. You just won't because they're almost equally as good. Look at them. There, there's not much difference. There is not much difference between a GEC and a Shat and Morgan. There's not. Now this knife isn't going to be for everybody. This is for this is for a more experienced traditional knife guy. Um I mean this is this is, you're not just going to start out and let's say you want you want to dip your feet, dip your little pretty little toes into the water and get your feet wet with a traditional. Well, you don't want to start out here. You know what I mean? Um, it, you're not going to start out with a Shat and Morgan. I don't recommend that. First off, you're not going to want to pay the money for them, and and they're not they're not that kind of experiment with traditionals. First, wholeheartedly, I could show you something. Let me. I still got one here. Jump right in with one of these guys. I told you guys, jump in with a case first. This will. This will get your feet wet right here. You can carry this. You can beat it up. It's a $60 piece. You're looking at like this one here is like 60 or 65 bucks. You could throw this in a sheath. You could beat this snot out of it and you're not going to care. Pick yourself up a case first. Figure out the pattern you like. You know what I mean? This is all the things you got to think of. Think of the pattern you want to you you that appeals to you, like me. I like the copperheads and the canoe pattern. That's that's where I like to gravitate towards. And then you will eventually find yourself. You will it'll it'll happen for you. But this is the. This is the Shat and Morgan jackknife, and I've always, always wanted a jackknife. Just by the look of it, how it swells out here at the end, um, how you get this little, that little nipple here at the end there, that little end cap is just fantastic. Um, this is a new one for me with this piece, with that uh, emblem there, that uh, Shat and Morgan emblem which I'm tickled because I, I like to get a lot of knives with the different shields. Um, I like, I, I love shields, man, a, a, a good shield. It's really, re they're really, really handsome. Do I have that up? Yeah, I do have that upside down, you ding-a-ling. Um, 
Sorry, guys. I was showing you that upside down the whole time. But look at that shield right there. You know what I mean? Just fantastic. I mean, listen, guys. If you if you want to if you want to get a little bit deeper into your hobby, and you want to really, I mean, so to speak, if you're into the traditional world and you want to go a little bit deeper, you might as well. There's no 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 sense. You gotta try a Shat and Morgan. Now I know a lot of you guys. Like I said, there's about thirty percent in the hobby. In the, in, uh, in the hobby right now, in the uh, community, as uh, we say. There's probably only about 30% of us, 30, 35% of us that are serious and really pump out videos on traditionals. And the rest of, the rest of you guys are all deep into the, uh, modern, the modern guys. And that's fine. And they're to each their own. The traditional knives... They haven't hit yet, but they're going to hit. Oh, they're going to hit. I'll guarantee they're going to hit. Just like all of my GECs in there. Yeah, I can't even touch them now because I was buying them when nobody wanted them. Nobody knew about them, really. They were just, you know, and I was trying, I was hopping all over them. Nowadays, psh, you can't get that. Forget it. You can't get them. You cannot get them. And the same thing with the Shat and Morgan uh, collection. I'm trying to build my Shat and Morgan collection now. Now that I, now I'm working on my Shat and Morgan collection, and um, I think by the end of time and by the end of my my knife career, my knife collecting, my knife hobby, I ought to have one. Heck of a collection. One heck of a collection. And that's what I'm shooting for because I put my blood, sweat, and tears into this collection. I just don't go out and throw a $50 bill down and buy a budget knife. That's not me. That's not what I'm about. Guys, I just want to use the look at this piece. I mean, it's just there. I'm going to do a full, full, full blown video on this one. It needs to be done. Um, it, it needs its own video. But I just wanted to give you guys a look at this first. Uh, try and get closer. I don't know how close I am. Um, what do you guys think about these Shat Morgans? What do you really, really think? Do you think that they're shit? I mean, you just could be honest with me. I could take it. I'm a man. I'm a grown man. What do you think about these pieces? I don't know, guys. I I, I think that I'm per personally, I mean, I think that I could, if I wanted to, years to come, years to come, I think that I could have my own uh, uh, retirement. With these guys. I think that the money is going to be. I think that they're going to jump in value that much. And I do think that they're going to be that much in demand. You see where GEC is. You can't touch them. On the secondary market. They're going for double and triple. And some of them. You can't. People aren't even selling them. That's the problem. Even if you have the money to put down on them, people aren't putting them up for sale. They're not putting them up for sale. All right, guys. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna get too. I'm the next video. We'll talk about it a little bit more. Um, just yeah. Let me know what you think about these Shat and Morgan knives. Let me know what you think about this Jack. I wanted a jackknife in the collection for a while. I finally got one. I wanted to try this worm groove out. Everything is just fantastic. And you got to feel it. You got to feel this worm groove, man. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I get a little carried away. 
But as you can see, the collection is growing. The Shat and Morgan collection is getting there. It's getting there. And they're going to look great right alongside of my GECs. All right, guys. Be careful out there. Stick with me. Let me know what's going on. And uh, be safe out there. Take care.